Football fans try over here with it. I've been a draft football fans after matches. I will give you Nigeria football fan content back to back. So if you're new, I beg click that subscribe button. Also like this video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, um, another draw, Chelsea versus Liverpool. This thing done the day like tape where they play over and over again. But your thoughts on the match? I'm a good blessing, Chelsea and Liverpool. I bless a cool guys draw soup when they cook when they shop. They got agreement. So they eat draw soup anytime they jump. After this match, they go go shop draw soup. The draw, well, I'm not surprised with the result. Like, whenever these two teams meet, they tend to want to cancel each other out. So, I'm not surprised with the 0 0. I'm not surprised. Did it look like a more determined Chelsea team today no. in the absence of Potter? Uh, let me be sarcastic. They should not be determined. We need a order for them again. There's no better time to wake up and then, you know. Really show that character, but I, I think beyond their because I, I wouldn't say they've been playing badly the last couple of months. I think the the uh, the manager, the management of the players, the formation and all that really really helped helped the performance today. If not, the last game wasn't this game wasn't really as compared to last game. The difference was not really that much. You get in terms of chance creation, missing chances, and chances, all those things. So it's almost the same thing, so it was not really... Was it, was it Chelsea being an improved side today, or you feel Liverpool are very, very weak right now and uh, this is... Uh, well, Chelsea being an improved side, I, I would say that's one. Okay, then secondly, really, Liverpool have been... They've not been there. Uh, even look at Salah now, couldn't really play much, if you get. So, but, you know, apart from the fact that... You know, it wouldn't be our problem, like... Put this ball in the net. What's the problem? That's just the issue. Played a very wonderful game today. But unfortunately, like many other games, you know, you see that chance you're not taking. I don't know. We hope it doesn't um, affect us when we meet um, Real Madrid next week. Exactly. And um, Joao Felix, now somebody that came from Madrid. Some Chelsea fans are beginning to, you know, they don't they. Talk say this guy sometimes pass, sometimes you're shooting day week, sometimes you won't dribble everybody on the internet. The guy be saying uh, La Liga with this. Oh, you, but, you know, you take too many kicks. So that's when you do that, it's boss for inside Premier League. They won't give you that much space. So when you have the opportunity, just put the ball in the net. So what's the point of trying to. No. There's no need, there's no need to be a superstar. In fact, now like this, we don't need superstar, like teamwork. Everybody, you know, do the basic, give the pass, somebody else will put the ball for net. At the end of the day, the, the victories for the team, at the end of the day. So that's just it. So, but generally, the guy has been an amazing player. I, I will not take that one from Jao Felix. If they're not sign him after this season, I don't know, that means Todd Bully. <laughs> as in the Wahala, as in, as in that means they're really worried from, from, from Village. Night, night problem comfortable. He has been an amazing player. I would say, if we want to rate all our church players this season, he's among the top three. Like, since he came up. Since he came, he has been amazing. Like every game, he has continued to show that character. You know, that's one thing with some of our players. That consistency is not there. Just very few of our players are, are the ones who can say, okay, any game, the, the day. You know, like, that's why we miss Kante a lot. You know, you see Kante, you see, you see Enzo Fernandez, you see um, um, Jao Felix. These are three players, I'm sure, that every game they play, it's been amazing, and then our defense too was really, really something else today. Really Kulibali, yes, I wanted to ask you about Kulibali. Your thoughts on his performance? Ah, no, Kulibali. I was telling someone when we sat there now, and now no one they brought him. I mean, it, that was when uh, we lost uh, what's his name, Narudiga. So they felt like this is a good replacement for Rudiga. He wasn't major in the ball. Now I'm going to see that that CSU. bully, you know, that <laughs> uh -huh, CSU, yes, that our guy at the back is yeah. really showing that strength of character. He's not committing, you know, all those crazy fouls he used to commit in those days. Oh, he'd be collecting yellow card, collecting red card, but now it's more decisive. It's more, more like a pillar at the back. And the defenders today, man, like they were really intimidating. Like they didn't really give. You could see Kukurella running into, into uh, attackers down to the midfield. You, know, you see how much they came out. It like more like a high line they were playing, you know, sort of. And it was really a good one today.
they were amazing. The defenders were amazing. All right, finally, moving forward for Chelsea now, of course, they have a, a coaching position to fill up. And then um, Bruno now they occupy the position for now. But I want to know what you think moving forward. Should they keep him there till the end of the season? Should they find somebody now? And then um, who do you think should be there? The match is from now to the end of the season, they're not playing to you. Ah, uh, but well, I think they should bring in a new person, but nevertheless, this backroom staff should be kept till the end of the season. So whoever is coming in should tell his boys to wait wherever they are and resume in the new season. Pre-season maybe? Yes, because this backroom staff, they are a great asset as far as managing the team is concerned. It will help whoever comes in to easily manage Europe. And there are a lot of, I heard there are a lot of coaches. Who, well, who do you want? Who do I want? That one is really difficult for me to say, but um, this uh, former Bayern Money coach, uh, um, Nago Smile, right? Uh, well, that guy is good. He didn't really do badly with um, Bayern Munich. So it would uh, it'd be amazing for him to come to Chelsea. It would be like a wonderful drama, you know. The coach, the sack from Bayern, he came here where his former manager was, you know, just like that kind of thing. But it would be amazing. But left for me with this squad, any top um, winning mentality manager can manage them. Whether it is Zidane, whether it is... I, I'm not really specific on who I think can manage them. This squad are ready for any... For somebody to put it together. Any top thinking manager. I even, I even heard that um, Carlo. That would be a good comeback. Oh. If he comes... Ah, amazing. No, it will just be winning, winning, winning all day because that man has everything. So if he can come back, wow, that would be amazing. And I'm also hearing that... It could be a third return for Jose Mourinho. You know what? Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you're supposed to like on all our social media links. And make follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.